Hey guys, I'm Catherine, and welcome to Discovery Hashtag Mind Blown. Get ready to use STEM to create the most explosively awesome projects. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math, four of our favorite subjects. Today we're going to be building the model motor engine kit. By the time we're done, we're gonna have a super cool engine with functioning valves, fired up pistons, and light up spark plugs. Let's get started. First, screw the engine mounting stand to the oil pan and then to the lower crankcase. Next, mount the connecting rod to the connecting rod keepers. Place the piston pins into the connecting rods and into the piston halves. In a car, this holds the crankshaft in place so it can transfer energy from the engine to the wheels. Let's fire up those pistons. Grab the lower crankcase and place the pistons on top. Make sure the pistons move up and down, driving the crankshaft in a clockwise direction. Cover it up with the upper crankcase. Next up are the valve stems. Install the stems through the cylinder head covers and into the lower cylinder head. Don't forget to add the intake and exhaust valves. These guys let air in and out to ignite the fuel for the pistons. Flip it back over and screw it into the crankcase. All right, who's ready to move on to timing cams? Place each timing cam in alphabetical order facing each other, A to B, C to D, and so on. The long shaft goes through the cams and they should all line up. Place the upper cylinder head on top. Get those rocker arms ready. Slide the rocker arms onto the short shaft. Each should face the opposite direction from the arm next to it. Going to stick these bearings in to keep the short shaft in position. Then let's cover it up with the rocker arm cover. <laughs> I don't know how to hold the guitar. <laughs> Guess what time it is. <laughs> time to install the timing wheel with the timing gear. The wheel goes on the top of the crankshaft while the gear goes on the bottom. Connect the wheel and gear to the timing belt. Make sure the ridges line up. Cover this up and screw the front and rear half of the water pump to the cover. This is where you'll connect the fan belt pulley and the crankshaft pulley. Is it hot in here? Looks like we need a fan belt. Attach the fan belt to the two pulleys and then follow with the fan. On the other side, install the flywheel clutch and the drive module. The module should make contact with the clutch. Place the housing over it with the cord going through the port. You guys, this part is lit, like literally. Prepare the lights. After you installed the distributor assembly, Place the LED light bulbs according to the corresponding numbers. Then you'll attach the exhaust manifold where the light bulbs are connected. On the opposite side, you'll attach the intake manifold cover, the intake manifold, and the blue carburetor. Now add your AA batteries, connect the driving module to the distributor assembly, and start your engine. Whoa! And now for some rapid fire facts. Do you know the four strokes in a four stroke cycle engine? They are intake, compression, combustion, and exhaust. After you've built your model motor engine kit, there are tons of fun uses you can do. I'm gonna keep mine on my desk and stay cool when it gets hot. I hope you guys had fun. Enjoy your engines. See you soon.